Concerns are mounting over the four objects that have been shot down over North America in the past couple weeks. The latest ones this weekend. They were over Lake Huron and Northern Canada. News for Jackson reporter Scott Johnson spoke with the retired Adjutant General of Florida, who's also a former NORAD pilot, about this. Scott joins us now live. So, Ken, let me kind of explain what's been going on the last few weeks. So, I've been monitoring this all weekend long. Let me tell you the order of the past few weeks. So, started in South Carolina. We had that what was considered a Chinese spy balloon down off the coast of the Carolinas. Then Friday, up here in Alaska, another one is down. Saturday, we start getting notice that the Yukon Territories, northern Canada, there is another one. Justin Trudeau, the prime minister there, requested a U.S. fighter shoot down the object. Then Sunday, this continues over the Great Lakes in Lake Huron, another downed object above the lake. Today in a White House press briefing, Admiral John Kirby saying the objects down this weekend were flying lower than the original spy balloon and they couldn't detect anything transmitting from them. Now there's the difficulty of getting to them. The objects in Alaska and Canada are in pretty remote terrain, ice and wilderness, all of that making it difficult to find them in winter weather. The object over Lake Huron now lies in what is probably very deep water. I sat down with retired Major General Doug Burnett, who was also a NORAD intercept pilot in the 70s and shot down objects like these. He tells me the target of the spying with the initial balloon and any other objects is less likely military installations and military silos, but rather everything around them. So here's a railroad. Uh, here's a bridge, here's a lake, here's a pond, here's a small town, here's a huge building, here is silos, and you map all that, stick it into your nav system, and when that cruise missile is coming along, it's making its adjustments based on what it recognizes against what is stored. And that's so not you classified. think they're developing uh, detailed mapping yeah. information for yeah. future use? Yeah. Burnett doesn't suspect China would attack, but the country could build a database. Let's explain it in Jacksonville terms. If another country wanted information on everything around NAS Jacksonville and sent a spy balloon, it would map things like the elevation of the Buckman Bridge, the track of the St. John's River, and any tall buildings in downtown that could be a barrier. They're not gonna fire one anytime soon. They may never do it. But they've got the data to put in their navigation computers or their Q's missiles to have a significantly accurate uh, navigation system. Burnett also says the initial balloon that made its way across the continental U.S. is unprecedented. Typically, the military would down them as soon as they got within our airspace. And then you might wonder, why not just use GPS or satellite imagery? Burnett says you can get considerably better imagery with a balloon of elevations that you could that you could not get really with GPS or satellite. And GPS could be shut down or modified by our military. But he says data on towns and hills won't change for several years. Kent Joy, back to you.